Well, guys, we hope that you have a dirt diver. Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brian over here at the Little Orchard Farm. So glad you guys joined us today. Uh, we are going to wrap up the electrical prep work for the cabin. I thought I might give you a quick glimpse of some of the things that we didn't spend a, a lot of time um, showing on the video, but uh, but I thought were really, really cool um, activities. Uh, one being the beams that we uh, uh, that we've put inside the cabin. I want to I want to show you how we built those and uh, how we're going to finish those out uh, in the uh, in the weeks to come. Also today, I've got my boy down here. He's brought some of his friends, and uh, they're going to get started on our barn. I'll give you a little bit more information about that a little bit later on, but we're going to be restoring an old barn. So that'll be really cool. Got a lot to do today. Let's do this. I just made a store run. Now to get all the supplies for Kevin here. Kevin's actually working on each of the, the boxes to get those prepared. The, um, uh, the uh, outlet, outlet and receptacle boxes to get those ready. And I've got all of his other stuff. So, so I was able to get our, all of our breakers, including the 100 amp breaker. Believe it or not, I got the last, I got the last three inch Oh, really? But they didn't have a bushing, so I got I got the lock. Well, that was not the bushing. I, have I to got to screw it on, so I got the lock. Uh, so we at least can we can secure it. We just won't have the bushing for it. Uh, there's your female. There's your hundred amp. Uh, your double your double poles are in here. Your fifteen amp is in in here. And then I think I may have bought some extra ones since you already had two, but we'll have them. And then I also went ahead and I bought some of these guys thinking straps, yeah. if that pole comes up, we can, we'll we can strap, strap it in there. All right, so you should be good to go, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and this right here, I'm gonna put right here because that's what's gonna go there. All right, so the only thing that I don't have that I just realized I brought a whole saw kit, but it ain't big enough. Well, I got the, I got the, I got the, um, for the floor. Yeah. I got a, I got a sawzall, a sawzall. Well, I mean, you, you know, you could, or, or I got a, I got a, uh, I got a skill saw too. Uh, you know, a, um, jigsaw? a jig, a jig, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, a jig. I'm like, I think I got down there and I kind of moved that pipe over. I might be able to get it over. Should be able to get it over enough. In line, okay. I just hope it's going to be straight. And it's <laughs> you see, this one dogs off here, and if this one loops to there and that one loops to there, then there's nothing going to the switches. So, three-way porch, outside LED. So, we're where does this go? Does that go back? That goes back to the box? No, that's the load. Three-way porch, outside LEDs. There's not even a white one out here, though, is there? Unless it's floating in the wall here somewhere. Shoot. Dude, I'm going to make this as much of a challenge for you as <laughs> possible. <laughs> <laughs> troubleshooting skills, yeah. yeah yeah you'll get a lot of troubleshooting 
That won't be the last mistake you find. I guarantee it. Um, There's going to be uh, some challenges, no I'll doubt. Have to, I'll have to look and see where they're going. Take this board up, knocks that out with the jigsaw. Okay. Or maybe knocks that out with the jigsaw. Okay. And we can do both. I mean, we can take that board up. Yeah. Yeah. Just screw down. Let me get the. Let me get the. You got the drill. Let me get the bit. All right, so in order for us to be able to um, to cut out our hole here, right here, uh, to run our PVC pipe up into the box, uh, Kevin is removing uh, one of the deck boards uh, to make it a lot easier to cut it. All right, so... Just to, just to kind of explain uh, what Kevin is doing. So here in the floor, we have the PVC coming up from the, from the, uh, from the pipe that's in the ground, right? And so that's gonna come up and it's gonna marry right here. And then that way, the city, the city, um, the city, excuse me, the county, the county will then be able to bring their electric all the way from the pole all the way underground all the way up into our uh into our meter base and uh i'll be able then to call the county and have them come out and install uh both the the uh the the wiring as well as the meter He successfully uh, did get our, got that installed all the way up. So now all we're gonna do is reinstall the, 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 uh, the, um, the porch board and that piece will be done. So you have to balance the the, the two on each, on each side. side. Yeah. All right. So we got the breaker box completed. Uh, oh, almost completed. There's a few little wires down here. I gotta get in there. But just trying to get dark on this. Um, got all that put in. Got all the 
all these white wires right here that's your neutrals all landed on the neutral bar there's a few on this side that's your bare grounds can't really see them but they're running right up here to here and you got a few on this side running right up here uh, this is your incoming power coming in from your from your meter the ground ground wire right there um, that's your plants in here with the red and black wires 240s going to your dryer and your oven and your air conditioners um, I'm going to pop the cover on here so when the city comes and hooks up the meter uh, it will it'll make this main hot so um, if that gets turned on for any reason all this right here will be hot so um, don't want anybody to touch it so we're going to put the cover on it and next time I'm here we'll take it off and of course we'll have to take it off for the sheetrock hangers um, be able to do their thing so uh, just have to be careful with that So there were two other things that we worked on last weekend that I didn't put on the video, but I thought that they were kind of instrumental enough or important enough that I wanted to kind of come back to it and, and show you what we've done. One of them is our beams. And so we're going to take um, take these beams here, wrap them in uh, a, um, a stained pine, a dark chocolate stained pine, uh, and have uh, have two beams here's the other one we think that this is going to really create that nice farmhouse look where we have uh, uh these beams kind of breaking up the room uh it just so happens that if we measured it out uh they pretty do much they pretty much break on kitchen dining room living room so they kind of act as room separators if you will uh but they do add, I think, a lot of character to the space. And what we're going to do is, uh, I also ran, and you can see above the above the beam, you can see the little blue box right above the beam here, right about there. So I've brought electricity out to it. We're going to put LED lights above the beam, shining upward, to create kind of a glow in the room. Um, and we'll probably never turn those off. We'll probably just leave them on. Uh, and so. Uh, and so we've got the two beams up. That was what I did last weekend. And I'll show you a little bit of the video on how we constructed that. It's essentially three two by sixes that we've, uh, that we have, uh, screwed together. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then we lifted these into place and secured them to the truss system. Uh, so they're, they're pretty much in there. Um, hopefully they'll stay in there. All right, whoo, so I got our two beams built. We just gotta get them up on the top plate. So we'll set them up here at, the, uh, at their designated locations and we should be good to go on that.
The other, uh, the other activity or task that we did last weekend that I didn't really show was the, uh, was the creation of our attic opening. So I cut, uh, I cut the opening, uh, cut one of the trusses and then I put the two by four, um, structures across there spanning that gap to create our opening this will allow us to obviously climb up into the attic with plenty of space to get up there i'll come back with some little one by strips and create a uh, a lip to where i can then put the drywall back on top of that or a piece of plywood whatever we put probably be the drywall piece of drywall up around it um <clears throat> and so that was another huge task that we knocked out last weekend that we just didn't really point out because we did so much this weekend however is so much different um uh, karen is up with our daughter uh doing a little apartment shopping getting some furniture for the apartment and so forth as they get back to school during the pandemic my son is out here with me this weekend uh, he's enjoying some time with his friends working on uh, the barn uh, me, I've, I've got a big work project that I'm working on. And so a lot of my time this weekend is going to be spent, uh, at my place of, uh, at my place of work. Uh, but, uh, the big, you know, the big activity for the weekend was to allow Kevin to get out here and, and really, uh, get a lot of the, uh, electrical stuff kind of wrapped up. Yeah, All right. So. So here's what we're wanting to do. One of the other projects that I'm wanting to get involved with and try to knock out um, prior to the cold season is uh, the restoration of this barn. And this barn, from a structural standpoint, is really, really solid. All the posts are good. There are a few posts that have some uh, termite damage or some bug damage to it. Uh, but for the most part, these are all really solid, uh, solid uh, beams and posts. So... The goal is, is uh, my son and his two friends are out here this weekend and they've begun to uh, tear apart, de-skin the barn, so to speak, to take all the siding off, the flooring off, and uh, and clean out all the junk. There was a lot of stuff that was left in the barn, like tires and, and uh, a lot of oil cans and so forth. Um, the other side looked a lot like this. So you can see, this just needs to be torn up. And... Um, once I get everything pulled off, then we'll get in here and, and start to lay out where we want to have stalls. So if this is going to be our goat barn, I can kind of foresee two stalls, three stalls in this area here. So we'll be able to have, we'll be able to get in here and, and, and reconstruct uh, the barn the way we want it. And what we're going to do on the side, um, we'll have to put our girts up. Uh, we'll put addition, you know, our, our girts along the sides. Uh, and then I want to do the, um, I want to do the, um, uh, board and batten, the very same type that we see on the cabin. And so we'll have, uh, uh, we'll have board and batten going the full, on the, on the whole side of this thing, right? But in order to do that, we got to kind of clean this off. We've got, um, we got one side of the over here, one lean to over here that I think I'm just going to go ahead and take it down. The other lean to over on the other side is in pretty good shape. We're going to leave it. Dylan, as I was just discussing here, that lean to that's over on this side, I think we can take that one down. Uh, the, po the one post doesn't look like it's in too good a shape. And uh, and if you take it down, I'd love to keep this, uh, the, uh, roofing. the roofing, because that's standing, it looks like a standing seam roofing. That's, uh, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces or so? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. Seven. Is seven pieces. Is that seven pieces? Yeah. Yeah, it's seven. So, yeah, if we can take those and set them over on the side over there, stack those, I can reuse that. Of course, this is standing seam, and that's not, so there'll be a mismatch on that, but I'll... I may be able to use that somewhere else. I guess if we knock out up there, we can just pull All right. So, you guys going to work hard? No. Working hard or hardly working? One of the two. I'm afraid it may be the latter. <laughs> <laughs> They've already taken three breaks. It's supposed to be a union shop. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Looking good. We saw it. 
considering that he broke the wood before he broke the nail. Mm -hmm. Well, they're metal, so yeah. they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Probably galvanized. I was say, I might have, if they were just railing nails, it would have rusted by now. Probably. Who that needs a hammer? Yeah. Mm. We have a Rex. Exactly. When you have a Rex. Why you? Okay. Caterpillar doesn't stand a chance. We have the Rex. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're pretty much do it for for this weekend um it's a beautiful weekend absolutely beautiful weekend uh there's just so much going on uh we've had to we've had to kind of focus on family and work related items uh and so it's a bit of a little bit of a break this weekend in terms of us doing the heavy heavy tons of tasks um and activities but uh, uh but an important thing is is that we're, we've got the electrical the electrical will be done, uh, and uh, and that's huge. Um, and so we will be ready to have the city come and uh, install the meter base, pull their wiring, and we'll have power. Uh, so that's exciting. Well, all right. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us this week here at the Little Orchard Farm. We want to thank you for joining us, and we hope that you have a great week, a blessed week. And until we see you again the next time, we will see ya.